Hi guys, I want to talk to you today about making pigeon nest front. You can uh, see there's lots of different types. Um, I like this type right here. And if you're trying to buy one of these, you can see just a quick Google search will show you that you can find economy nest fronts for $16.95. I've seen them as low as $15. Um, there, there's many that you can find through here so if you can't build one just buy one but I'm going to show you how to make one very cheaply and same quality quick disclaimer this video speaks about using power tools if you do not know how to use a power tool do not use it safety first wear your proper personal protection begin and end in the same physical condition. I went to Lowe's, but you can go to any home improvement store, and I bought a six foot one by six and two three eighths inch dowels. First cut off 15 inches, and then you're gonna rip it down to five inches from the five and a half inches and you'll get something like this. Now you're going to rip that board down to one and three quarters inch three times and get something like this. You'll have three boards about 57 inches long and an inch and three quarters wide. Now cut four 24 inch long pieces. I cut my four uprights nine inches tall. This will be dependent on how tall your nest front is going to be. Mine are at 13 and a half inches. Here's all my pieces laid out. I have four nine inch uprights that are one and three quarter inches wide. I have two 24 inch long one and three quarter inch boards. I have four dowel rods that are 3 8 inch by 10 inches long, the 5 inch wide by 7 and a half inch uh, that's going to be the door. This is the cut list. This is how I spaced out one half of the nest front. They're about an inch and three quarters spacing between the dowels and the uprights and there's a one quarter inch between the upright and the door. I found that marking it out on my bottom rail made it easier for me to visualize. Next is to drill into your 24 inch pieces about a half inch deep hole. Uh, don't use a half inch spade bit, but you can. I ended up using the 3 8 inch spade bit. When you get done, you'll have two lined up centered holes on the narrow ends of your 24 inch long by one and three quarter inch. Next is an important little piece. This is gonna be your hinge for your door. Mine is one inch and a quarter long. And I cut two of those, and you can see how I fit it so that it'll hinge with a half inch space there. And then the top, I notched my doors just for aesthetics. And so here I've started gluing together the door top. Here's the assembled door frame. You can see that it also has a back catch to prevent the door from falling inward. And here's the assembled front. The only thing I need to add is a ledge so the door, when it's open, doesn't sag.